It's that time of year we're all thinking about elk hunting and I've got the top three states that you need to check out for your upcoming elk hunt. I'm Kyle Green with the Greenway Outdoors on the History Channel. If you're from a state like mine, Michigan, where there's only 1,300 elk in the population, getting a tag is not impossible, but it surely isn't easy. So here's my top three states that I'm gonna check out for my traveling hunt this year. Let's start out with the obvious choice, Colorado. It's everyone's favorite for elk hunting. Why? Because there are 300,000 Rocky Mountain elk and they are known for their cheap over-the-counter price. At $800, they come in very low compared to some other states for an over-the-counter tag, but keep in mind, there's talk right now of eliminating that tag. Even so, into the future, Colorado's still gonna be a good choice. Why? Well, they've got zones where you only need one to two points for a good rifle tag, which means you won't be waiting five to 10 years like a lot of the other states. With so much research and data on the elk herd in Colorado, you can see all kinds of migration patterns through OnX that's gonna give you a great look at where you should be when you're going on your hunt making Colorado a great choice. State number two is Idaho with a population of 120,000 Rocky Mountain elk and a tag that's at a reasonable price over the counter for a non-resident at $850. And while you can get non-resident tags, they're likely to sell out on day one. So get it while you can. Now I've got two pro tips if you're considering Idaho for your next trip. Number one, yes, you can buy your tags online. You can buy them over the phone or in person from a vendor. But if you're going with a friend on a hunt and you're looking to get the same tag, I highly recommend you do it in person. It's a lot harder to get the same tag over the phone or on the computer, especially considering they sell out so fast. If you're anything like me, when you're turkey hunting, you're seeing deer, and when you're deer hunting, you're seeing turkey. And that's why this next pro tip is so important for you. If you are hunting elk in Idaho, in your zone and area and you don't see any elk but you see a black bear a wolf or a mountain lion you're allowed to use that tag to harvest one of those animals making idaho one of my top choices because sometimes you don't see what you're looking for so your next elk hunt might be just one cool bear hunt now state number three may surprise you but with 157,000 elk in its herd i could not ignore the great state of montana and I like guarantees in my life, so let's break down the guarantees for this trip. First things first, every year you can buy a preference point, but you can never have more than three preference points. What does that mean? It means you'll never go three years without actually pulling a tag. But keep in mind, you have to stay up on this because if you skip a year, you go back to zero. So always make sure you're putting in for your preference points. Now let's break down the data and the likelihood of you getting your next tag. The cost of a non-resident tag in Montana is on average over $1,000. If you choose to apply without paying for the preference point, applicants with zero points are placed on a random lottery. Now, recent years have seen anywhere from 25 to 75% chance to pull a tag. Last year in 2023, the success rate was 60.2%. Preference points can be purchased during the drawing period and apply to that year's drawing or separate from the drawing from July 1st through December 31st and are $100 a year. Preference points only roll over if you apply the following year, so don't miss any years. And year over year, you can only have up to three. Outfitter clients are eligible to purchase a second preference point for an additional $100. There is an 80 to 90% chance of being drawn with two points. And that concludes my top three non-resident elk tags for this season. I hope to see you out in the woods. I'm Kyle Green with the Greenway Outdoors, and stay green.